Kaya. It's good to see you. How are you? It has been a while, I know, which I, I apologise profusely for, but uh, I'm happy to be making a video after it's been a good couple of weeks, so yeah, I'm going to enjoy this one. Sorry, my flat's like a mess, but um, yeah, it's just the way it is. <laughs> okay, so today I'm going to do a what's in my makeup bag. So. This makeup bag is the one that I probably keep on me a lot. Um, it's got all my main everyday makeup in and um, it's the one that I use most often. I've got n like n more boxes that's got fancy stuff in and like more colourful stuff for um, night time and things like that. But this is kind of bog standard makeup in here. So this is the bag. As you can see, it's gross. <laughs> it's not the most ladylike bag in the world. Um, I think it actually came free with my printer. You see, it says HP Eco Solutions on. I don't know what I was supposed to keep in here. Maybe printing cartridges, possibly. I don't know. But yeah, I use it as a makeup bag. Um, the, one of the reasons why I chose to use this bag is because it's really um, malleable that you can fit a lot of crap in there. It's really not the most ladylike makeup bag of them all, but uh, I am a bit of a tomboy, so it's okay. Okay, let's open it up. to choose first okay choose this first so this is the Rimmel Scandal Eyes eyeliner thing for like doing like the liquid line with the wing on it um it's not very nice it's not great to be honest and it's not very fine either there um I bought it because the marketing was um, very 60s uh, I think they actually called it like retro look or something like that and it was really 60s um, and I like doing that makeup look and I love the 60s and then I bought it and I was supremely disappointed but it's still in my makeup bag because I didn't know whether I should throw it away it just felt weird throwing it away I don't know um, and the next one is, I'm trying to decide whether I should zoom in on this, I don't know. You're not going to be able to see that though guys, are you? Is that better? Yeah, I'll do that. Um, okay, the next thing is one of these bad boys, which I'm sure you're all aware of what this is. Um, if you're not aware what this torture contraption is, it is an eyelash killer. So you like put your eyelashes through that little bit here and then you squeeze them down. It looks quite terrifying, um, but when you do it on yourself, it's not, it's all right. You get through it as long as you don't have a phobia of eyes or anything like that. But if somebody else does it to you, oh, it's the strangest feeling. It's horrific. I hate it. It's like one of my the worst part of getting my makeup done on a shoot by an artist is that they're going to come at me with these and I hate them. Um, but somebody recently, she had like um, a battery powered like heat eyelash curling wand and it was like heated and you just put it on like, a mas like mascara but it was, it's supposed to curl them up which was awesome which I think I should probably get one of those. Okay, into the bag of tricks again. Okay. This is MAC Mineral Powder. Do, 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 do. It's very bright on there, sorry. There we go. You can see it better. Um, the shade is medium dark. Um, and it's a 
formula that's actually baked i don't know how they do it but baked is in like yeah in the oven um and that something about that makes it lighter um but you can also use this with a slightly damp brush and apparently it gives a really good like sheen i've not really tried that yet because i don't really know i have to make effort effort to try and slightly dampen my brush first and i just like really get around to things like that guys have probably seen these earrings before because they have been featured in another one of my videos but they are that's, they're in my makeup bag because i wore them to an audition a few weeks ago and i forgot to take them out um i didn't want to wear them down there because the stalk's quite thick and it kind of hurts my ear um so that's why i put them in my makeup bag instead so I wouldn't have to wear them the whole way down and get painful ears. Okay. <sighs> Here's another regretful purchase which is the um, Rimmel Scandal Eyes Mascara which is also not very good. Um, once again, the marketing got to me. Um, I actually bought this and the eyeliner together, so that's why I didn't learn from my mistakes. Um, it's just gotten clumpy super quick. It's really not very nice. Uh, the wand is a bit odd. It's a bit weird shaped. Um, I just really don't like it. I just, but you know, I'm gonna use it until it's over because I don't like to waste things. But yeah, never again. Okay, the next thing is, well was, a MAC blusher. There's only this much left now. I use it a lot. It's like, it's the only blusher I own actually. So this is the only blusher I wear every every time I wear makeup is this one um, I would tell you what the number is but that's gone now that's faded but I think it was something along the lines of rose pearl thing um, I think the name the word rose was definitely in it favorite concealer in the world it is mac studio finish with spf 35 color nc 35 absolutely love this stuff um it's just a really amazing high coverage concealer covers anything and everything and um, great for the bags under my eyes that are permanently there unfortunately no matter how much sleep i get um what else can i say about this this must be my like 20th pot of this um but i just discovered recently that as an actor or a performer you're eligible to mac makeup membership and once you get that you get 30 percent off and access to products that aren't open to the general public so i'm gonna join and um apparently they do this in like a bigger pack same stuff but they do it in like a round pack probably the size of this and um, so i'm gonna get that i've been uh, listening to blur a lot these past couple of days been obsessed with blur man oh so it's stuck in my head bang the song bang is stuck in my head right now um Okay, well there's a lot of brushes in here, but I think I'll do them all together when, when I get to that point. Um, okay, next thing is this little dude, 
which you definitely probably can't see that. Um, it's called uh, Barry M Dazzle Dust and it's really affordable. I think it's like £4.50 for this pot um, and it's basically just a pot full of pure powdered pigment colour. So this is the shade Bronze and yeah it's literally just pure powdered gold <laughs> and it's so amazing it's so vibrant um, and I've had this for I've had it for I think about a year and it's barely taken a dent in it and I wear it you know four or five times a week This is a product that a lot of people talk about and um, also I think Amal has talked about it a lot on her channel um, sometimes it, they sell out quite often so it's sometimes hard to get your hands on um, but it is the MAC skin finish mineralize highlight powder and the t it's called soft and gentle I don't know if that's the name of name of the tone or whether that's part of the name of the product i think it's the name of the product actually i think they don't do different shades of it and it's like a really shimmery highlighter um as it's a mineral one it's also baked so you can also use it with a damp brush which i think i have tried once but this i use on my cheekbones a lot and um, where else? Sometimes I use it um, as an eyeshadow as well. Oh. And I use that every time I wear makeup. I'm not going to say every day because I don't wear makeup every day. Um, I've got no problem with going out and not wearing makeup and stuff, so I don't always wear it. Okay go back in Aha. okay this is one of my favorite products of all time it is the Bobbi Brown liquid gel long wear gel eyeliner is what they call it and the shade is number one black ink um, and it's just like a tiny little pot of gel black ink and it's really good for doing winged eyeliner my only problem with it is that it dries out quite quickly. As you can kind of see, there's a crack in it from the product just drying out and splitting. It dries out quite quickly, which is unfortunate because it, this pot lasts a really long time. Um, and you know, with it drying out quickly, it makes it harder to work with and it's slightly more crumbly as you're putting it on and it's likely to fall down onto your face and ruin the rest of your makeup. But it is amazing once it's there, it stays there until you're ready for it to come off. It's so long wearing. Okay. This next one is a MAC eyeshadow. And the shade is Contrast Velvet, which is actually just a very, very velvety midnight blue. And this is really nice. I don't often use it as a full eyeshadow. I sometimes just use it um, to create a kind of smudged line on the top of my lid that's kind of smoky and good for evening wear. It's quite sultry looking. Um, and I've had it for a long time as well. I use it quite sparingly, only every now and again, and only small amounts, see that just a little bit there on the edge or a whole smudged line or a whole smudged line all the way around. I only use a little bit, so it's lasted me really well. The next thing we have is tea tree oil um i think it's it's 100 pure organic tea tree oil so it's not mixed with any other kind of shit 
um, so it was good stuff. Um, I've been really busy and stressed recently, so I've been having quite a lot of breakouts on my face. Um, so that's why I've been keeping the tea tree oil on me at all times. Uh, but yeah, it works really well. It's got such an amazing smell. I don't know if you've ever smelled tea tree oil. It's kind of minty and eucalyptus-y and kind of smells something herby about it, like thyme or rosemary or something like that. It's a really unique smell. Um, Apparently you can also use it as mouthwash, the guy in the health store told me, but I don't, I don't, don't, yeah, I might not do that, I might do, we'll see, never say never. Okay, this is another kind of gel pot eyeliner, and this one's by MAC. Um, and it's called Macro Velvet and it's kind of like a purpley, mm, purpley mauve colour. It's actually the one I'm wearing now. Um, and this one's uh, very creamy in consistency so it's really nice to, really easy to work with and apply and um, also lasts a very long time. Um, and this is basically the MAC version of the Bobbi Brown one, but I feel this one doesn't dry out as quickly. Okay, this is Burt's Bees Lip Balm, um, and it's the original. I know they have three or four different ones that say revitalize or SPF or uh, just like three or four, I can't remember what they're called. This is the original um, and it's a great lip balm. It's very pepperminty. So it kind of stings when you put it on. Some people hate that, but I love the sting. Good stuff. Oh no, it's not going back in. It's near the end, I guess. I have to push it back in. And it has vitamin E in it and peppermint. I know one of its key, key ingredients is, is lanolin and some people are allergic to lanolin so if you know you're allergic to lanolin Number one, you may have seen this before in my lipstick swatch video, is MAC and the shade is Rebel and it's like a really deep plummy colour, which apparently is my favourite shade of lipstick after I made that video. I, after making it, I took a long hard look at myself and I was like, I keep buying lipsticks that are the same colour. And, you know, practically, financially, this is not good. <laughs> so, I try and branch out now. I've not bought a lipstick in ages, though, actually. Um, this one is like a really old school L'Oreal Paris lipstick that's completely empty. Uh, <laughs> I still love it. It's what I'm wearing now. It's an amazing shade, and I believe it's discontinued. So say bye bye to that one and then there's this one which is Illa Mascua which is purple which you may have seen from my lipstick video also it is extremely purple so purple I will swatch it for you but it's incredibly purple it's beautiful the kind of packaging very sleek more kind of accessories now. This beautiful mirror. 
pocket mirror. I got it as a gift from someone who I'm not I'm now not friends with anymore. But I love this. <laughs> it's like a peacock design on it and it's lovely. When you open it, it's classic. One's normal and one's like extreme close-up. I hate the extreme close-up one. Next we have brushes, a whole lot of brushes, a whole lot of brushes. These five, oh, one of these, these five are all fake MAC brushes. This is the only legitimate MAC brush I own. Funny I use these ones more than that one. Um, this is like a spade shaped one. This is like a, another shaped one. <laughs> This is a slanty shaped one, which is really good for doing those liquid lines, like I was describing. Um, so it's just a general medium sized one for anywhere. Good for concealer, I find. And then this one is a Diddy one um, that I actually use for lipstick, mostly. And then this is my legit MAC brush, which I use for eyeshadow or concealer whatever I really need at that point in time. And then I have this one, which is my blusher brush, which is extremely old. Um, whatever it was is worn off it. I believe it might have been number seven, which is Boots own brand. And then I have this brush by Eco Tools, which is in this funky case as a Christmas gift from somebody but it's broken now as you can see it's slightly broken so it used to be like that and then you'd push that down but that's come off now so I need to invest in a new one basically oh, one last thing which is pink tweezers. I think I got these from Sephora in America sometime. And they're cool because they're pink. <laughs> okay, well I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you soon. Bye!